What's up guys, Spider here, and we're talking Destiny 2 and the most efficient and effective way to get your power level as high as possible before the raid releases next week. In case you didn't know, Destiny 2 releases this coming Wednesday, it's less than two days away, and the raid will unlock at 10 a.m. Pacific or 1 p.m. Eastern next Wednesday, September 13th. I think they had a month on Destiny 1 before they released the raid. This time we got a week. Keep in mind that it looks like light level, though, has now been replaced by power level. That's why we're, you know, light level equals power level now in Destiny 2. According to a recent article over at PC Games, and I'll link you in the description, referencing the official, I believe, Prima or Prima guidebook for Destiny 2, it looks like XP level will again cap at 20, and power level will cap at 300. And it works pretty much exactly the same as in Destiny as an average of the power level of all your gear. However, regular activities will only get you to 260. Nice. After that, we're going to have to look at weekly reset activities to incrementally increase power beyond 260. And obviously, once we get into the raid, we're going to have higher level items drop as well. So how are we going to power level and ensure we're at the highest level possible in preparation for the raid? We only have a week. Well, this is exactly how we're going to approach it. Again, referencing the article, but this is exactly the same way we did it in Destiny 1, pretty much. Okay, we're going to create a new character, but pick the class that you're most, you know, is most enjoyable for you from Destiny 1. Whether it be Hunter, Titan, Warlock, okay? Number two, play through the entire campaign, and you should, you know, be close to hitting or hit level 20. Ensure every time, every single time you get a new piece of gear with a higher power level, equip it immediately. If you're not quite level 20 by the time you're done the campaign, then play some regular activities like strikes, etc. that do not have a weekly reset. Do not play any of the weekly reset activities, okay? And do not salvage any gear along the way. Now keep in mind, always have the highest power level gear equipped at any time, any given time because your drops are dependent on your current power level. It's always been the case in Destiny. If your power level, you know, 200, then your drops are, should be slightly above 200. If you're not equipping, you know, higher power gear, then your drops are going to be less than what they should be. Okay? Number three, once at level 20, create another new character of the same class. Okay? So if you picked Hunter the first time around, you're going to have another Hunter. And play through the campaign once again, equipping higher level gear from your first character whenever possible. Now, you know what? It would be nice to have three characters with three different classes, but the way the drops work with armor, armor doesn't transfer from Hunter to Titan to Warlock. It never has. And that's a kind of a downfall in the way they've designed this game because it promotes people to create the same class character, three characters, uh, to ensure that they get the higher level drops because they always have the highest level armor on. And that's just the way it is. It's not my fault. Blame Bungie. Okay. So uh, we've got uh, two characters. We're going to have a third character. Once you get level 20 on the second character, you're going to have a third character. Number five, once your third character hits level 20, continue playing the non-weekly reset activities. And always ensure, you know, I mean, stick with one character that, you know, the first character. Maybe that's like the person, I don't know, the character that you like the most. Who knows? Um, and keep playing those non-weekly reset activities until you get to 260 or as high as possible. You know, 260 ideally. You want to have everything at 260 before you play the weekly reset stuff. Or if you don't have enough time and it's like Monday and you don't have enough time to play super, 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 and you're not at 260 arc. and you know the reset's going to happen, then start doing your weekly activities, okay? So uh, number six, play all of the weekly reset activities, including Flashpoint. So this is a, a new public event. Uh, it's called Flash Flashpoint, I guess. Uh, weekly reset strikes, any other activities with a reset. And last, finally, the Nightfall Strike which usually from Destiny 1 drops the best stuff out of all the weekly reset activities. So you want to save the best drop activities for the end when you're at your highest light level. And do this for all three characters. You know, don't play the Nightfall um, until you've played everything else for all three characters. Then play the Nightfall for all three characters, okay? And remember, again, every time you get a higher level, higher level gear, higher power level gear, equip it immediately. Number seven, if Xur shows up on the weekend, and uh, hopefully he will. Buy whatever you can only after completing all those weekly activities. So if you can do it, you know, usually he stays all weekend. So you don't have to, you know, Friday he comes, let's say, 
you don't have to buy something immediately. You can wait until Sunday or be, or before he leaves, right? Two, In order to two, buy two, your two, stuff two, two, to ensure that you're highest level one. possible. Okay? Number eight, weekly reset was always early Tuesday mornings on Destiny 1. If it's the same in Destiny 2, or even if it occurs on Wednesday yeah, super, morning, super. you still have the ability to run through all those weekly activities with all three characters one more time prior to the raid releasing. Okay? So even if it's Wednesday, you still have time before the raid releases at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. And finally, once complete, you know, you're as set as you're ever going to be able to, to yep. you know, that that's it. That's, there's not much more you can do uh, prior to tackling the raid on the 13th next Wednesday. So that's it. <laughs> and that's this is the exact thing, the exact strategy I'm going to be employing over the next week to prep for the raid. Um, you know, unfortunately, it looks like DLC 4 for Infinite Warfare Zombies might actually drop on the 12th. So I don't know how we're going to handle this because... You know, staying up all day on the 12th and then doing the raid all day on the 13th. I don't know how it's going to go, but I guess we'll see. Anyways, good luck, Guardians. I want to get this out to you. If you got something out of this video, uh, please make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on to ensure you get all our content as it's released. Well, plenty of stuff coming for you from Destiny 2 for months to come, I'm sure. And uh, that's all I got, guys. Just got uh, finishing off this game in the background. Um, some competitive... Crucible stuff, nice, but uh, we'll see you soon. We got another day and a half before release yep. of Destiny yep. 2. I'm Spider, and I'm out. Like a titan of the first nice. That's why we have fire team. All opponents down. A powerful finish. <laughs> I was pressing the wrong button for my uh, super. Why can't the rookies I was be pushing more like Q. you? Yeah, I was pushing Just Q. Thinking about it infuriates me. Shit, really. But I'm better than last time, so.